Hello again, YouTube. Um, sorry it took so long to make the second part of this tutorial, but, um, I was caught up playing Skyrim, so. Um, yeah, but I'm going to make the second part of the tutorial yet. Now we're gonna have a little more complicated stuff. Uh, and right when I left off, I was right here, and I was talking about health. Um, so I already talked about health, and so this is how you. Saying something's a weapon, you just stay it's a weapon, and no, but all but this is using the attack extension. So if you don't have it, that's probably not going to work for you. But um, so that's how you make a weapon. You say the blank is a weapon. Uh, now I'm saying it was carried by Bob, so he has the sword, and I said this is how you see how much, pretty much how much damage the sword does. Um, the combat system pretty much works. You can attack, attack someone. You can concentrate. Concentrating does nothing, but it will to kind of power up your attack, so next time you'll do more damage. You can dodge and you can parry. Parrying and dodging are pretty much in the same sort of thing, except, um, like, you can have weapons that are better at parrying than, than dodging. So, um, it's kind of preference what which one you want to main, mainly use. I usually use parrying, because dodging sometimes doesn't work out for me. Seems like a little doesn't doesn't really work as well as I would want it to. So I generally just use uh, parrying. Uh, I'll do an example of dodging here. But um, also you have to ready your weapon. So you have to say like ready sword, and then you'll have your sword in your hand, and you'll get the bonus points for using your sword. Um, so a weapon attack bonus. This is how you say how much damage it does. Well, it operates on a system of points, so you get like. Points for tension, points for if you concentrated, and then plus how many, however many, how how much damage your attack does, or your weapon does, and I made it so the sword does seven extra points, pretty much seven extra damage, and this I made it so Bob falls you, so he's like your companion. Every turn, if Bob is not visible, begin, semicolon, move Bob to the location of the player, semicolon, Say, and then this is where you say what it says when he follows you. If you don't want it to say anything, but you can leave that blank. Uh, end if. Period. Um, yeah, just look, I'll paste this into the description. So, you won't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, so, and I made the rat a hostile an animal, so he'll attack you on sight, and he's an animal. He has 25 health, um, and he's in the bathroom. Melee. This means how much you do without your um weapon. So I made it so the rat's a stronger melee person or melee animal. So it will do more damage meleeing than with a weapon. Well, rat a rat carrying a weapon would be ridiculous. So um I just made him so he's stronger fighting without a weapon. And now the defense. So um the default the default defense of seven. I mean the default defense of the game is 7, but I made him is 10. And the defense is pretty much how many points you have to overcome to do any damage at all. So, let's say you have 3 concentration, 2 tension, that brings you to 5, plus like, let's say 3 for your weapon, that would bring you to 8, so you wouldn't overcome his defense of 10, but if the, um, the enemy's defense was 7, the default, then you would overcome it and you'd kill him so that you can you can play around with that i mean like whatever kind of game you want to make you can you I, I would just play around with the attack extensions uh different things you can do with it because really you have you can you just change every you can change tweak all the settings to your liking so that's why i like attack ex the attack extension but anyway um this is how you like you'll buy things or trade things so you can say this is how uh, the code for buying and trading. Instead of giving the flower to Bob, now Bob carries the flower. Now the player carries the sword. Say Bob trades you the bacon for his sword. So pretty much um, what you want to do with this is you want to replace this with the item that you give to the shopkeeper. For instance, five gold. Replace this with the shopkeeper's name. Oh, sorry, my phone's ringing. One second. Okay, I'm back after that uh, short short delay I had there, but, um, so anyway, getting back to the subject, now you say, 
This is the shopkeeper's name. Now he carries whatever you're giving to him. And now, you, the player, and then you put here what you want the shopkeeper to give to you. For instance, for five gold, getting like a health potion or something. And then you save. This is what you save. Like, you bought the health potion or whatever you want. So, um, I'll copy and paste this and this and then some other things we'll get to later on. Okay, dodge ability. This pretty much means that when someone attacks you, dodge ability adds uh, more of the defense points. So it's easier to dodge people, if that makes sense. When the enemy's attacking you, you also have a defense, which is default 7 right now for me. Well, for this game. And, um, this would add 2, so you'd, they'd have to overcome 9. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But, yeah, that's that's how you make it so weapons help you defend. Yeah, and, um, this is how you talk to someone. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want, I'll paste this in, and, uh, what you need, this is, this is an entire thing is for talking for people. Well, talking to people is kind of useless, except for adding things in. This is for asking people about stuff for information, like, ask, ask Bob about the, um, the inn, the nearest inn. And so, you make a table of topics and responses, and then, and then, uh, you can name it what you want. I said, just table of topics and responses for Bob. You could say for whoever you want. Um, so a topic was rats slash rat. And then you have to have a topic and a response. And then the response was, he says, I hate them. And that's what it will appear. This is what will appear in the game if you ask him about that. Then where are we? And then he says, I am lost. I do not know. So you can you can pretty much, if you want to make a big role-playing game, you can, you know, completely tweak all the things you can ask them about. Um, so you can you can play around with that. But you also need this. Instead of asking Bob about something... Uh, repeat through the table and make sure you have the exact same thing as this ha as this right here and then begin and then this is this all pasted in also because it's hard to copy this out begin if the topic understood includes topic entry begin say response entry paragraph break rule succeeds end if and repeat say I don't know anything about that um oh oh and this is uh you put here what he'll say if you ask him if you don't have something here, this is what he'll say if you ask him about something that's not here. So if you ask him about like about him about the nearest inn, which of course I don't have as a topic you can ask him about, he'll say, I don't know anything about that. Um, this is how you make a healing potion. So I made it so that bacon restores you to health to full health. So I said after eating bacon, now the health of the player is fifty, and then you say you're fully healed. Um that's how you make someone be able to heal completely uh, I you can make it uh, heal the player to whatever health amount you want them to be able to heal to but the only problem is that um well like it, you can make it, it has it for eating bacon no matter if your health is 1 or 49 it will always heal you 50 so if I made this 25 uh, if you're no matter what your health was at that time, it will always go to 25. So uh, I'll look into try and make it so it will give you 10 health instead of setting your health to something else. So now I made a red door. Uh, this is how you make a door between two rooms. So it has it's east of the bathroom and west of the living room. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so that sets that it's in between the bathroom and the living room. Now I made a key. The rusty key is an object. Now this is how you make a key. The rusty key unlocks the red door, and then I put it on the table. So this is how you make a key. And now you can unlock the door in here. Now, um, this is how you make, like, a gun. So if you want to put a gun in your game. No, normally I use this for role-playing games, not as much. Games with guns, with swords, nerdy stuff, that kind of stuff. But, um, if you want to have a gun... You can put it with a weapon attack bonus, but this is how, unfortunately, there's not a system of ammo built into this, so you'll need an extension if you, again, I'm not even sure if there's a one for ammo, but I don't really use guns, so I never need it, so I haven't really researched it, but you can make it so you have to reload. So this, this, these two things here, this is pretty much the most important thing, the maximum load time and the maximum shots. This is if you get, like, an unloaded weapon, you can make this, like, zero.
And if you made this zero, then mean that right now the musket has zero shots in it. So this isn't as important. But that means that it takes two turns, two combat turns, to reload your musket. This means that currently it will take two combat turns to reload the musket. And then this is how many shots you have before you have to reload. I made so you only have one shot, then you have to reload. Um, so, the maximum shots, this is how many shots you can fire before you reload, and this is how many shots it currently has before you're going to have to reload. So again, if you found an unloaded weapon, no, this isn't what you do. You wouldn't make that zero if it was an unloaded weapon, you'd make this zero. Um, now I made... I do not see... What I did that for. Okay, I'm not sure. I made this before I actually started the video a while back. Uh, I was planning to do it a while back. So I'm not exactly sure. This is just a more example. I made a room. I made it north of the living room. A goblin with a mace. Which has a weapon attack bonus 7. But yeah, um. So that's just some. Uh, this is basic stuff. This is more advanced stuff coming down here. This is this area here. Um. But. It's not, it's not very, it's moderately advanced, it's not very advanced. So, if you guys want anything else that you want me to show you on Inform 7, ask me and I'll either make a new tutorial if enough, enough people request it, or I might, I'll just, uh, put in an annotation here maybe, or I'll just respond to the, if only one person asks it, I'll just respond to them. So, um, thanks for listening, I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, don't remember, if you like it, like it, if you didn't like it, dislike it, favorite it if you really liked it, subscribe if you like my videos, leave a comment, I always like feedback, constructive criticism, don't just outright say I'm like, just absolutely horrible, um, thank you, again, and, um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, again.